you should watch this video to find out why Gran Turismo 7's latest update gives me the horn at Sakuba. And after just a few seconds, I'm sure some of you may have already figured out what the title of this video was all about. I mean, come on, you didn't think I meant anything else, did you? But for those of you that didn't know, I'll go into a little bit more detail. In Polyphony's latest update, update 1.17 for Gran Turismo, they gave us the ability to use the horns on road cars. Now, okay, it's not the most earth-shattering, groundbreaking update feature they could have given us, but it's a little bit of fun. And I actually think it's quite a nice little addition to the game. It's, um, it's a bit like another release for the road rage, for when people like this person on my right here keeps trying to push me off the track or this guy here who pretty much cut me up you can just beat the horn I mean normally you just look at the screen and you shout and the people on the other side of the game don't actually know that you're annoyed but now you can hear when somebody's honking the horn they know when you are miffed and I tend to heap, beat that horn quite a lot like here is a perfect example when I lose not one, not two, not three, but four places. So I give that horn a good old toot to let them know that I'm just not happy. And okay, I managed to gain a place back here by throwing one up the inside. And fair enough, I deserve to get one back at least. I made a quick toot of the horn just to let all the people in the grandstand know that I'm coming past. And now, as we concentrate a little bit more on the racing and less on the horning, I decided it's time to try and get a few places back. However, as this is daily race A with no DR or SR, I do actually make a fundamental mistake here and I wasn't concentrating and went into the back of blister. Now, if this had been daily race B or C where your ratings do matter, I would have given the guy the place back because fair enough, I did shunt him there even if it was unintentional. However, daily race A, eh? it's all a bit of fun, so what the hell, you can catch up later. And talking of catching up, you can see Nido here in my white MX-5 behind me is desperate to get past, so much so he decides to throw one up the inside, and then loses it and goes off the track, and then decides to quit. I guess he just couldn't take the embarrassment of making himself look like an arse. And talking of candidates for the next Jackass of the Week video, we have the Spaniard Insignia behind me, who puts in his first punt and then obviously still wants to get past, decides that he'll line up another one as we come into this corner. And there he goes, round the outside, tap. Oh, tried to pit me there, didn't quite come off that one, mate. I don't know, maybe you should have another go at the next corner. And I just know this is coming, so I keep to the left a little bit and yet he throws on up the inside hits me twice and gets the place. But you know what? You can have it, I don't really care. And thanks to that move, he did put me under a little bit of pressure from the brute behind, but he got a bit leery going into the corner and lost it, which allowed me then to focus on seeing if I could catch the Spaniard. And despite my best efforts, I wasn't able to catch up with the Spaniard and couldn't get him. But as we come to the end of lap five and we get your yellow flags out, I'm thinking, ah, might be a chance to make a place up here and at least move up one. Unfortunately, as we round the corner, you can see it's a back marker ghosted out. And despite the fact we get the overtake, it doesn't mean we move up a point at all. And that's pretty much how this race ended. But saying that, go ahead, add the horn to your car, give it a good old blast. It's a great lot of fun. But just remember, if you can hear somebody else beeping their horn, look in your rear view mirror. That might just be me behind you. For more great videos like this one, just follow this link. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.